Um, I came down because you know these rides been going for a few days, and um, you know this is our home. This is where we live, and I think it's important to show like stuff got really badly smashed up last night, and it's important to go and show that we're you know there are still people, the majority of people I think that won't stand for it and are doing the best we can to you know keep this a nice place to live and show there's still like a community and stuff. I missed sort of the rioting, which I deliberately missed the rioting. I live very locally, um, but I came as soon as the police had sort of knocked the, the, the rioters back towards South Ealing. And you could stand in the green there, and Ealing Local, the shop was burning down, and the grove, the pub had all been smashed in. And it was surreal, because like 100 metres down towards South Ealing was the big line of riot police. And another 100 metres, you could see all the rioters still rioting, but because they were away from the crowds, just sort of being left, and it was really surreal. And there were lots of people out, and just it was just this weird feeling of, sort of shell shocking all that the shops and all the shop owners were out and stuff and just spoken to some of the shop owners I know I know some of the people I know the people that own uh, Ealing Local that got burnt down um, and I've tried to clear up and I did a minimal amount but a lot of the places have either been cleared up already um, which is good um, or uh, such as the high street still he's doing but at the moment it's still a crime scene so there's a big group of people that's just head off that way that are at the moment are a little bit aimless but we're trying to I think as soon as there's something to do you've got the people to do it